All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter three of the textbook, which is asking us, the, uh, the beam has a weight of 700, 700 pounds. Determine the shortest cable ABC that can be used to lift it if the maximum force of the cable can sustain is 1,500 pounds. Okay, so as ever, let's uh, kick off this problem by drawing a free body diagram. So for this problem, the only forces that we're concerned with really are these three. So we've got the tension in we could call it cable AB, even though it's all part of the cable ABC, but uh, we, we've got the tension in AB, we've got the tension in BC, uh, and we've also got the 700 pound weight of uh, the beam here. Uh, some students might be a little bit confused. They might think that we want to start introducing kind of a contact force or contact forces uh, regarding this chain here. Um, but no, you know, both these forces are going to be 700 pounds okay um we can neglect them in a sense for for the context of this question uh okay let's label this force on the left here fa and this uh, uh force on the right here is fc um we have everything we need here by the looks of it let's go ahead and solve so Looking at this problem, I reckon it might make sense to start by resolving horizontally. By inspection, FA and FC are the same. We can technically prove this by saying, uh, you know, the some of the forces in the horizontal are equal to zero. Therefore, things acting to the left are equal to things acting to the right. We could say acting to the left, we've got the... Um, horizontal component of FC and acting to the right, the horizontal component of FA, but no, the cos theta's cancel, so all we have is uh, FC, FC is equal to FA, right? That's, that's a nice place to be. We can move on then and resolve vertically. Again, uh, forces acting in the vertical are equal to zero, therefore things acting up are equal to things acting down. What do we have acting up? Well, we've got the vertical components of FA and FC here. We know that they are equal to each other. So we could describe this as two, oh, two, uh, let me write this properly, two FA sine uh, theta. So that's what's acting up, what's acting down. Well, we've got this 700 pound weight here, so we can say 2fa sine theta is equal to 700. Now, uh, is this kind of solvable with all the information that we've written down here? Well, no, we've got two unknowns here, fa and theta. But if we refer back to the question, we note that cable ABC uh, can sustain a maximum force of 1,500 pounds. Or in other words, uh, Mathematically, we can say FA is uh, less than or equal to 1,500 pounds, okay? And we could take that idea and we could kind of substitute it in for FA in our equation here. And then effectively, we're only left with one unknown, theta, which we can then proceed to solve for, okay? So um, for starters, 2FA becomes 3,000, so I can say that sine theta, um, dividing by that 3,000 on both sides, we can say sine theta is equal to 700 over 3,000. We can then take the inverse sine of both sides. We can say then that theta is equal to the inverse sine of 700 over 3,000. Okay. Now, when we plug this in our calculator, this gives us an angle of 13.5 degrees. OK, so we now know that theta is equal to 13.5 degrees. The question is asking us to um, uh, determine the shortest cable ABC. So in other words, we're being asked to determine the length of ABC, assuming this, assuming this uh, angle here. 
So this ultimately becomes a very simple trigonometry problem. I probably should have added a little more information to our FBD up here. I should have noted that this uh, beam is 10 foot in length, right? So evidently we can say, well, this angle is 13.5. We can draw this on, in a little right angle triangle here. So that angle is 13.5. This length here is five. Um, and what we're looking for really is this length here. And that length represents half the um, length of cable ABC. Let's, let's just call it X since it's what we're looking for. Evidently, this is a very simple trigonometry problem, right? So um, we have our adjacent. We are looking for our hypotenuse. Uh, the best trigonometric ratio to use here then should be uh, cos. So cos 13.5 degrees in this case is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse or 5 over x. We can rearrange for x here. So we can say, therefore, uh, x is equal to 5 over cos 13.5. When we put that into our calculator, we get a value for x of uh, 5, roughly 5.15 feet. And when we um, note that that length represents half the length of cable ABC, uh, we can multiply that by 2. And we could say, therefore, um, ABC or length ABC is equal to uh, 10 0.3 feet. And when we have a look at our problem here, we note that uh, that is longer than our, our 10 foot beam. So this, this, this solution kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And a 13.5 degree angle, that sounds about right. Just kind of looking at the uh, diagram here. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.